I'm here with George Rush St. Pierre. You were in the corner tonight of Nazareth Hack Brass, quite the left hook. Yeah, it's amazing. He's so good, uh, so accurate and quick on his feet. Uh, he measured the distance so well. He did a, a clinic. It was beautiful. I said to Faraz, this might be your next guy. I mean, he's, he's really a tremendous athlete. Yeah, and also what makes him so good, not only his talent, he's got a heart of a champion. He's from Germany, uh, and it's very hard for him because he has to travel, uh, to learn new knowledge, to get out of his comfort zone. So he deserves everything that he has. All the success that he has, he deserves it 100%. There's some guy that live in, 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 in close by a gym and they, they don't even st get up and do the work. This guy had to travel, take a plane, travel and do his work. So my, my hat is up to him. Yeah, pretty amazing at 23 to do all of that. Um, I spoke to uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov a couple weeks back. Yeah. And you, you know, we, we talked about you. Whenever, whenever we talk on Canadian television, your name comes up. Yeah. And he said that you should stay retired. He said, you're 38. He's like, George, don't come out of retirement. But is that fight still on your mind? It was on my mind when I retired. I really wanted to do it. But now I'm um, telling you the truth. Uh, UFC I, I, were, were clear. They had other plan for Khabib. So I, I turned the page. And I cannot wait, wait for, for the fight to happen and twinkle my thumb. I have other plan in my life. Being the best fighter in the world is not my number one priority anymore. It used to be, now it's not. I have family, friend, I have a lot of more important things to do. And uh, I have other projects the, down the road. What would you say is your number one priority then? Well, I think it's family is the number one priority. It's very important. You know, family and health is very important. Do you still want to be one of the best athletes in the world though, regardless of whether you're fighting? I mean, you oh. do so many different things all the time. Look, it's not that I can't. Mm -hmm. It's because I don't want, you know, like I, I, I it's not worth it to spend all the to, to dedicate all my focus and my concentration to this if I don't not gonna fight and get the fight that I want anymore. You know what I mean? So I, I uh, it's not that I can't do it. I could come back and fight again, but my heart is is not there. When I train in the gym, I feel very confident. When I go with a young guy, I, I feel like I want to fight again. But then I go back home and I, and, and, and sometimes I wake up in the in the morning and I'm like, ugh. It, you know, so it, it's a mixed up feeling for me now. What's retired life like for you? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Man, it's hard to take to, to take your retirement at the right time. It takes a lot of discipline. I'm very happy. I had a very good people around me that were there because they, they were really there for me, not because they were taking advantage of me. They, they, they give me good advice and I'm happy they, they've been there and they're still there. I know you still follow the sport. I spoke to Dana White uh, last week, and I asked him about the 155 division, and he said Tony Ferguson was next in line, followed by Conor McGregor. Do you do you agree with that? Is that the way you look at it? I, I agree. I agree. Tony Ferguson, he deserves it. He deserves he deserve it first. However, if UFC need a money shot, of course they're gonna go for Conor. But to, Tony Ferguson, he he deserves it, man. He been there for a long time. He, he pays his dues, and he he, he did the, the hard work, the, the the heavy lifting. I know that you're not waiting by the phone, but if the phone did ring and they said we want you to fight Khabib, <laughs> if and if and if with if you don't go nowhere, so I know you did say I, if I, you I, want to be a superhero, I'm not going to wait action. and twi twick all my, my my thumb like this, you know. I have other other things in my life, the other pro big project that I'm I can't talk about, but I'm working on, and uh, I'm always training, I'm always in good shape, I will always be. Uh, but uh, competition, it's a, it's a, it's, it's it, for me, it's a, it's a chapter of my life that I, that I, that is over. It's all consuming for you. Yes. <laughs> um, can you tell us about anything that you do have on the horizon that you are allowed to talk about just yet? Any, any big things coming up? Yeah, I have a mo movie coming up, so it's good, a big thing. You nah, can't reveal the movie yet. We can't, we can't say anything about it, uh, unfortunately. But in 2020, you guys are gonna have a chance to to see. I'm going to jump on IMDb when we're done and see if maybe they've leaked it there. <laughs> the rumors, yeah, yeah. Good luck for that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, George. I appreciate it. It's always great catching up with you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the support. You have seen been great for me and uh, all the fans. Thank you very much. And uh, just to come here tonight and see the fans, it make me, make me uh, very emotional. They were chanting your name. Yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. As always. Have a safe flight back. Thanks. No problem.